bear with me. Hi, everyone joining right now. Namaste. Janice, Keith, Susan, Terje, Dawn, Joanne, Sherry, Janice, Karen, Angela. So glad everybody can join me right now on this N5D Facebook Live. My name is Greg Prescott. I'll be hosting this for who knows how long, as long as it takes to get this information out there. I'm so grateful that you're all able to join me this morning. Thank you. So I want to start things off with a UFO sighting last night, and it was pretty cool. So about 9.30 or so last night, Michelle's like, let's go to the beach. I'm like, you don't have to twist my arm to go. <laughs> so we go to the beach, and we see this light in the western sky over the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, there's this UFO there, and it seemed like it was going left, and then it would go right. And it's not just a small movement. These were pretty drastic movements that it was going. And it would go back and forth like that. It was really cool. And uh, we, it, to me, it seemed like the, the UFO was over the Atlantis Stargate. As we all know that there's this um, a major Stargate in the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantis Stargate. And it, it was almost like as if it was patrolling or protecting that Stargate out there. So uh, we, we, we were checking that out for probably, I don't know, maybe half an hour or so. And then we get back to, uh, we get back here to my house and uh, all of a sudden I get all these alerts on my Facebook page uh, saying that, um, I've got a picture of it here, saying that we removed your post because it looks like spam. Go to your support inbox to learn more. And this is what I, I was flooded with. So, and it was from my other website, body, mind, soul, spirit.com. And I put a link in there uh, as one of the first links on this video to that website. And on that website, I think I have close to 100 and I think 137,000 followers, something like that. And uh, what happened was um, they, they went through and they, <laughs> basically removed all 1,200 posts that I had on Facebook. And I had to go back and individually for, I only went back like two or three months, um, actually a little more than that, till October, and had to physically say, this is not spam, this is not spam. I made a post about it earlier today too, and um, well, last night. And uh, so many people, I got so much uh, love and support uh, from everybody and it is true you know attention flows where attention goes and uh, vice versa but so many people did put attention there and it did help bring it back up and uh, this morning everything is going great um, all the posts were brought back and everything's fan friggin tastic but I'll talk a little bit more about this coming up. Okay, I got so much I, I want to talk about here. Um, what's interesting too is that um, they're on Facebook, uh, they have what are called organic posts. And uh, they stopped, they changed the algorithm in 2013 on what organic posts are. So these organic posts, um, I started uh, on Facebook in 2009 and uh, I had uh, N5D and I got like 400,000 followers in the first four years and I only picked up 37,000 followers in the last four years. Uh, so, you know, it, it goes to show you how they're limiting. So it's not just me. I know a lot of you out there are going through this and what we're experiencing are shadow bands and this and that. There's a bigger picture that's going on though, and I'll get to that at the end of this video. Um, but the way you can go around this anyway, through all this, just whatever your favorite websites are, most of us have a subscribe button 
on our websites where you can receive in your inbox every update. And you can do that on bodymindsoulspirit.com as well as in5d.com. And even on in5d, I have a, an update where you can um, subscribe either to the daily update and get them every, every night around midnight, or you can get it once a week in a tightly wrapped uh, single email of all the, the uh, posts that I had for that week. So just go there and subscribe and you won't miss a thing, okay? So we're not gonna let this Facebook shadow banning stuff bother us or get us down. And I highly suggest that if you have a website, do the same thing. Just tell people, subscribe, <laughs> you know? We'll work around this. Or go to alternative websites such as MeWe, Dot com. I have a, a N5D Facebook page there, uh, Inform Planets. There's a, a Gab. It's similar to Twitter, but um, actually a little bit better. Um, so you can check that out or Minds.com. Um, there's a lot of alternatives. So let's get into it right here. Okay, so I was looking at the, the Nikkei stock market last night and uh, checked it out again this morning. And it was down. 1,071 points, almost 1,072 points last night. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to check out the Dow Jones real quick and see where it's at, seeing how it's 10 o'clock and the Dow Jones is already open. But what usually happens is the Nikkei um, basically shows what's going to happen with the Dow Jones. And right now, the Dow is up 70.58. I don't expect that to last very long. We'll see. But what we're seeing, there's a bigger picture going on right now, and that is that the, you know, the Rockefellers and Rothschilds are fighting back right now for the, what's called the draining of the swamp, uh, here in the United States, and what's going on in our capital, Washington D.C. Uh, a lot of the swamp is getting drained, and what's you have to look at this also from a higher perspective, as above, so below. What's going on here is also being reflected in the aether. So what we're seeing is a draining of the swamp above it as well as all these reptilians and dracos are getting rounded up. And just like in Washington, they're being pushed into a corner. And just like here, they have nowhere to run because of this frequency fence that we have around our, our planet, solar system. They have no place to run or hide anymore. So um, it's all coming down <laughs> to the wire right now. Um, what we're seeing in the in the uh, markets also, they're they're rigging the precious metals. So if any of you have invested in gold or silver or junk silver, like you know any in, here in the United States, any any coins uh, like dimes or quarters that are from 1964 or earlier are considered junk metal because they're 90% silver uh, melt value. So what we're seeing is. Um, you know, these, these markets being rigged, and just recently there were seven people that were arrested for rigging the silver market, but as we saw back in 2008 when they were rigging everything else, the housing market and everything else, uh, no, they basically got a slap on the wrist and, you know, go continue doing what you're doing. But it, this time might be different. From what I understand with the uh, silver market is that silver, there's about as much physical silver on the planet as there is gold, but they use silver in so many more things, you know, electronics and everything else, that eventually there's gonna be actually less silver than gold. And it could actually, they, they could feasibly flip flop in value. Um, but none of this really matters anyway. Um, but anyway, what some people are speculating is that silver could go to $1,000 an ounce um, once the rigging stops. Uh, but the bottom line is that the military industrial complex is still playing into all of this. Um, so, you know, people are saying, oh, oh, QAnon is doing all this and he's exposing all that. And personally, I'm not Republican. I'm not Democrat. I haven't voted since Ron Paul, <laughs> who was a Republican. And I admit, I had voted for Hillary when I was in New York State, thinking she had to do something um, as senator in order to, you know, eventually run for president. She didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, obviously I'm not either, you know, I just try to vote for who's the right person. And eventually I said, screw it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, there, it's always going to be the same shit from a different toilet. So, 
Um, what we're, like I said, what we're seeing right now is basically the the Rockefellers and the the Rothschilds, the Dracos and the Reptilians and the Aethers are panicking as well. So this is getting really interesting as it's boiling down, you know, to the the final days before the event, which we spoke about yesterday on Candace Crow Goldman's show. Michelle Walling, myself, and and uh, Candace all mentioned about that. Um, we uh, we talked about a new segment that I have on N5D called New Earth News. So check it out. It's up on top. You know, it's just with all the categories there, New Earth News. And we have a bunch of writers that are coming in uh, to write about it. Uh, a girl, uh, Janae, just wrote a wonderful article yesterday. We have several articles that came out today that probably won't show up on your news feed unless you actually go to N5D.com and see them because of all the suppression on Facebook. But uh, uh, and of course, I'll post them on my uh, individual page as well as the N5D Facebook page. But yeah, please check them out. And while you're there, subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Uh, so getting back to QAnon, uh, the thing about what's going on right now. Yeah, QAnon is is making this movement about you know draining the swamp and and a lot of positive things are coming out because the truth has a high vibration. Uh, you know, here you have love, and truth is like right below it. And the truth vibration is basically uh, draining the swamp right now. And um, and those who are guilty of these crimes will be held accountable. But none of that matters either, and I'll get into that. Uh, so, what we're seeing right now is, you know, a lot of people are jumping on the Trump bandwagon. And yeah, I, I commend him for what he has done. Uh, you know that. You know, he is going after these people that are, uh, you know, have, have been suppressing society and in turn the world. Um, so it's, it really is a global issue. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, recently there were U.S. armed insurgents from Syria that shot down a Russian plane uh, that, that killed the pilot. And uh, of course, you know, this, these are the stupid things that happen that can instigate World War III, but we're not going to. It, that's not going to happen either. <laughs> Trust me, that's not going to happen. Uh, the bottom line is that all of this is a big distraction. It's a big freaking distraction. None of this is real. We're just consciousness experiencing this through our human bodies. And what we're co-creating is what's real. And that's what's going to co uh, create the new earth. Um, we're, and this is why we have to experience these polarities here in the third dimension. We're deciding what is it we want and what is it we don't want when we finally wake up out of this dream. Even though we're awake right now, we're still asleep in the dream. When we wake up, that's when it happens. And in my opinion, that's when, like I explained before, there's this white light that will flood the planet and in an instant, it changes everything. That's where we're heading. So, you know, with all this stuff going on, you know, the, the QAnon, the draining of the swamp, the Russian plane being shot down, precious metals, stock market, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What do you want to create? What do you want to create right now? Do you want to create, oh, I want silver to go to the thousand dollars. No, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, I don't want World th War Three. Even that doesn't matter. Uh, what do you want? The New Earth? Do you want to envision like walking out into a water with somebody else right next to you, the person you love, and say you like the water cold and the person you're with likes it warm? What if the water could adjust itself to the exact temperature that each person wants? That's what I'm talking about, creating things. And just the thought process alone, thinking about it, creates the manifestation. Okay, so right now, on this new earth that's been created so everybody will have the perfect water temperature when you walk in a body of water it'll be perfect for you okay start thinking about stuff that you want uh, do you want it to perhaps for me I, I would love this I'm on the beach it's sunny out you got a purple sky it's no longer blue it's purple and there might be two or three suns who knows um, but it can snow and the ideal uh, air temperature might be, you know, 79, 80 degrees. I don't know what that is in, in Celsius, but uh, the snow would still drop and you feel the coolness of the snow 
on you. And yet the water temperature is still, you know, adjust to whatever you want. Um, that's something I would like to see. Or waterfalls that don't go down, but go up. <laughs> you know, and they're all like sparkly water and, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Start envisioning what you want because none of this stuff is real. None of it. We're just consciousness experiencing and co-creating with each other what we want and what we don't want. So I hope you got a lot out of this right now. Um, as I mentioned, while we're still here co-creating, uh, you can get some great co-creational ideas on both bodymindsoulspirit.com and in 5 dcom so be sure to subscribe to both newsletters. Um, the Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit, I call it BMSS. But uh, you can uh, get a lot of things on there. There's a lot of spiritual stuff on there. And I also go into a lot of uh, holistic foods and, and uh, stuff that I don't cover on N5D. Uh, but N5D, we go, we go the extra mile on that. And uh, a lot of woo-woo stuff, new earth stuff, and uh, cool things that are about to happen. So I'm going to leave it off at that. Oh, wait, I do have one last thing, too. I did have a question from Patty Chambers, and she said, what is the sleep cycle right before waking up? I noticed I'm being taught by a higher force about how our thoughts or reality was so pure thousands of years ago. I was using my mind's eye during this process as images were shifting to better demonstrate what this higher force is explaining to me. Okay, so... The sleep cycle right before waking up is the REM cycle, the rapid eye movement cycle. That's where you're, you're, you get all these dreams. The cycle before that is where you get the deep sleep. And that's where you, most people spend about 50% of their night is in deep sleep. Uh, most people, not me. Um, but you're, you're in the uh, REM cycle. And that, that's a, a combination of alpha, theta, and beta waves. And as you're waking up, it's more, more, your waking life is in the beta wave, which is a, you know, a, a wave like that. And uh, it's, it's a, a slow moving wave, but you end up going into the theta wave as you go to sleep, which is a slower moving wave. And you keep getting slower and slower until you start to wake up and then they start to pick up again. And then you go from the theta to the alpha back to the beta. So chances are is you're probably, as you're waking up, just like when you go to bed, you're, you're drifting into that alpha state, which is like a hypnagogic daydreaming kind of state. And as a matter of fact, I have an article on N5D. It says, do this before you go to bed to help you open up your third eye. And it's a, a quick and easy way to open up your third eye and to get those visions and to be able to do that in your waking state as well. So what I'm thinking is that that sleep cycle that you're asking about, yeah, you're, you're going probably from theta to alpha and you will be able to get those images and see those things. Um, so, so you might want to do that then instead of before you go to bed. When you wake up, start working on trying to get your mind into that alpha state. And it's easy to do. If anyone can get, uh, get into a meditation, a deep meditation where your mind's completely clear, you're in the alpha state right there. And it's so simple to open up your third eye. So I think I'm going to leave it off at that. And I'm so grateful that all of you have joined me tonight, today rather, and over tonight and on YouTube. If you're going to be watching this later on, I'll be uploading it to the N5D YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to that, subscribe there as well. So that's it for now. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com. Namaste.